Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined right now by Vicky and Rob of Sick Sets. Hi. Hell up, yeah. How are you guys doing, man? Thank you for joining. Good, good, good. Happy we put out our new music video. Stoked about that. <laughs> Hell yeah. We'll, we'll be playing that one uh, in a little bit. If you guys could, could you properly uh, introduce yourself? Uh, let us know whereabouts in the, in the world you guys are and plug or promote anything you'd like. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we are Six Sense. We're the vocalists of Six Sense. I'm Rob the Ripper. This is my wife, uh, Killer V. She's awesome. <laughs> We're both in Six Sense. We're the vocalists. Um, we only have two songs out right now. Uh, this one, Make Believe. Uh, and we just released our newest single called Kings Today. And our EP, our debut EP, is coming out on April 22nd, 2022. Hell yeah, right. Yeah. And we, we are currently in Chicago, but the band is based in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. What are you guys doing in Chicago? This is where uh, we reside. I'm from here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so okay. I'm from here. Robbie's from Montreal. Yeah. He moved to Chicago. So we're here. The rest of the band's in Canada. <laughs> so how how did you guys meet though? If you're if you're from Canada and you're from Chicago, how did how did you guys actually meet? Uh so I'm actually in another band called The Agonist, which is based in Montreal. Uh so, you know, pre-pandemic, I would spend more than half the year in Montreal. And I, I met Robbie at Heavy MTL, um, which is a big metal festival in Montreal. Yeah, in uh, 2015. That's when we met uh, backstage at Heavy Montreal. Hell yeah, awesome. Uh, for those that might not know their music, I'm going to play this track right here, uh, Make Believe Real Fast, so people get familiar with you guys, and then uh, we'll do some more questions. Who does, uh, who does all your guys' audio production? Uh, Chris Donald Christian Donaldson. He is based in Montreal as well. Hell yeah, because it's it sounds like really crispy and tight and like mastered perfectly. Like you killed it. What's uh what's the title of the EP gonna be that comes out uh, on April twenty second? You said it is uh, Kings Today. Kings we recently Today just put out the single called Kings Today. Yeah, let's check out the single Kings Today, and then if you guys are down after that uh, to review some bands with me, maybe do a little trivia. We'll have some fun. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. That come on, that was the worst gig. Ever. Is it the same director as the last video for this one? No, yep. Yep. Uh, Chris Kells, he's the bassist in the bike ride today. So is this like a, a play on like I'm just gonna, like Five Nights at Freddy or like a murder mystery? <laughs> oh, well, the bear. Uh, like there's like he's like a metaphor for us. He's like our mascot and he's a metaphor like. He's uh he means various things like he's like instead of being the elephant in the room, he's the bear in the room. He's kind of that silent observer watching people argue on social media. He's the one judging everybody. <laughs> okay, I got you. Okay, we got some chat questions and then uh, I want to ask you guys some stuff too. Uh, chat wants this is legit. They actually want me to ask this. Do you guys practice screaming at each other when you argue? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> It's a different kind of screaming. We don't practice like our hardcore screaming. It's it's regular people screaming when we argue. Yeah. <laughs> does does being in two bands ever cause any confliction with like scheduling? Uh it hasn't happened yet. Um I hope it doesn't, you know, but I think as long as the, the thing with tours and whatnot is usually that they're booked so far in advance and not just tours but like album recordings, pre-production, all that stuff. It's never decided, you know, like next week we're doing this. Everything's so far in advance that I think it's really easy that you could just book certain time slots and here, you know, from that period of time to that period of time, I'm doing this and so on and so on. So I think it's it's easily avoidable as long as you're like organized and, and plan ahead. Can I play a song from The Agonist? Uh, Sure. <laughs> is there is there a particular one that you would like us to play? I've just never heard uh, that. I guess could, so I'm, I'm curious, like what the other sound, your other uh, band sounds could, like. Um, scroll down a bit. Uh, play that one right there with me on the piano. Okay. Seven in time. Yeah. Hell yeah! We're hanging out with Vicky and Rob of Six Six Sense. Yeah. Excuse me. 
you guys are just crazy talented. That's all it is. Just just crazy, crazy talented for sure. Both bands are fire. Yeah. Both bands are fire. Is there is there an an artist that maybe you guys have like have you ever considered having like another vocalist on a track maybe down the road? And if so, who is an artist that you may have had in mind that you'd like to reach out to? For six cents? For six cents, yes. Mm, oh, actually, um, I was always like, I'm telling my wife, like, I really like the rapper uh, Zilla Cami, and he's also, I believe he's from the Midwest as well, so I would love to have him on a track. I think uh, his style of hip-hop would fit yeah. with Six Sense's style. If anything, I think because, like, we're, we're two vocalists already, and we're two different genders, too, so that covers a lot of spectrum, so I wouldn't... I don't think I'd want ever want another metal vocalist on Six Sense because it's like we're enough. So I got if you. we were to bring someone, it would have to be from a different genre of music that can do something that we don't do. Makes sense. Uh, we're gonna play yeah. some some uh, some some supporters of the show and some uh, some bands that have been sent in to me that we're gonna check out. But what I want to know is, uh, what do you guys consider your strongest knowledge as far as? movie knowledge or tv shows what do you know more about like the simpsons star wars it could be anything i'm going to base my trivia around what you feel the strongest about my goal is to stump you <laughs> oh no oh no. uh, what's one show we know a lot about mm, uh, you you watch a lot of tv <laughs> i'll give you a second to think yeah, about like, it i'll give you guys a second to think about it i'm going to go ahead and play uh, yeah. a band from wichita kansas called atria what do you guys think of Atria? Yeah, that's some cool stuff. It kind of reminds me of uh, Rain City Drive a little. Oh, yeah. Or the, really Slaves. Yeah. The, yeah. That's the vibe I'm getting. Good call. Uh, what do you, What's something that you guys jam in your spare time that is not metal or hip hop whatsoever? Like a different genre than those two? Or maybe just a particular artist that we wouldn't expect? Hmm. Uh, I listen to a lot of the weekend. I don't know if that counts as hip hop or. That's cool. It's kind of like, like R and B pop a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, I listen to Crystal Castles. That's something I I jam a lot. That's a that's electronic cool. Canadian electronic duo. Hell yeah, my wife loves them. Yeah. Vicky, what about yeah, yourself? I don't know. Um, I like like a lot of soundtrack stuff and video game music. What's the best video game? Oh, oh. Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. Yes! Hell yeah, let's yeah, go. Hell yeah. That is, I agree. Yeah. I agree with you. And I've never played the remake because I'm an Xbox guy. And I just don't have it for PC. But So I'm, I eventually will, but I've played Final Fantasy VII, the PlayStation 1, probably at least all the way through like 10 times. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Uh, what can we expect after after the EP comes out? What's what's the next thing uh, that's that's in the agenda that you can tell us? Um, well, I mean, after the EP, I guess just working on new music to yeah. bring you more stuff later in the yeah, year. I, we could say um, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to be working on a, another music video for the follow up EP. So we're actually going to drop a second EP at the end of this year as well. Hell yeah. Hit people with the double whammy. So I love it. Yeah. Keep keep hustling, keep working. Chad is saying you have a Final Fantasy tattoo. Yeah, it's my my <laughs> sleeve. I don't know how much you can see it. It's, the entire thing is Final Fantasy based, but there's pictures of it on social media if he wants to see it in more detail. <laughs> okay, cool. Hell yeah. Um, let's jump over yeah. to to your Spotify real quick. Did you think of the so Final Fantasy? Would that be a good trivia to start with, or because it could be a video game? Uh, I'm trying to think of something that like we both know because I feel like it's hard to find. I don't know, maybe like Harry Potter. Like, ah, we both know or something. You don't know anything about Harry Potter. <laughs> um, yeah, because like I have stuff that I'm passionate about that I know a lot, and then Robbie has his own stuff, but like somewhere that we're both knowledgeable. I don't know. It what is, what it, what do you guys typically do? Like, what are some uh, the like, website I use has like everything you could ever imagine. It's Pretty oh, Woman trivia, oh, South Park. Okay. It has like any individual movie, any individual TV, TV show, and I can instantly find like a question. Like right now, we were doing Dumb and Dumber trivia before you hopped on. 
<laughs> Do you want to try a Dumb and Dumber one? No. <laughs> okay. I was like 10 when I saw that movie. Okay, no Dumb and Dumber. I probably do early South Park. <laughs> I okay. can't. See, I don't want South Park. So <laughs> I'll set up some uh, some early South Park in a second. We'll just roll with that one. Uh, check out Scoundrel. Vicky, chat wants to know what you do on stream. Are you, You're a streamer on the side? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do mostly music, so like either performance or sometimes we watch videos too and I just like kind of analyze them and give my thoughts or ask the chat what they thought about it. Um, or plug, it plug all your like, channels. Plug all your channels. Yeah, I mean, my name, Vicky... Uh, <laughs> Vicky Sarakis, the, the last name that no one can pronounce. Um, just my name. Yeah, if you type it on Twitch or Facebook or Instagram Anywhere. or Twitter or TikTok, it's just my name. That's cool. pretty much it. Pops right there up. There it is, yeah. All yeah. right, Rob, this trivia is specifically for you. Some South Park Season 1. You said go back old school, so here we go. What family? I think this is an easy one. What family member in the boy's life continuously tries to commit suicide? Oh, Kenny. That is not correct. What? Kenny dies all the time, but he doesn't try to commit suicide. That's why I rolled my eyes when he said South Park. I'm like, you can't do South Park. When's the last time you saw South Park? <laughs> no. Grandpa. Grandpa was the answer we were looking for. Yes. Grandpa. I feel like at this point, <laughs> Harry Potter is better. You know more about Harry Potter right now than you know South Park. We'll give you a redemption question. We'll go back. We'll go Harry Potter and we'll try to give you a redemption question. No All problem. Right. <laughs> no. Let's see. Let's see what Max wheel spin landed on. What is your guys least favorite food ever? Like you would rather, Ooh. I don't know, get, like break a finger than eat this. Like it's that you hate it that much. Uh, it's been a long time since I had something like this because I just remember not liking it as a kid, but like anything in like, like the sardine category, like really salty fish. So like no anchovies related. on your pizza, no anchovies on your pizza. No, <laughs> okay. no, but I wouldn't know. I wouldn't rather break a finger. I like I'll still eat the anchovy <laughs> over breaking a finger. It was a it was a tough one or the other. Well, not a tough one, but yeah, I would rather just eat the anchovy. Um, what about you? Oh man, don't make me do this. I I can't think about it. I stay away from the things I don't like. So <laughs> so what's one you don't like? Uh, you know me. What, what don't I like? What can I? Avocados? Oh, avocados. Yeah, I'm not a fan of guacamole. I'm a guacamole hater. It's probably it. <laughs> so you would you would eat you would pretty much break a finger instead of eating guacamole. Yeah, I think, I think that would. <laughs> is for it, me. Yeah, but you know what? With my taste that finger. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. cilantro. That's one you hate. Yeah, but that's more of a spice. I can't eat cilantro. Yeah, <laughs> tastes like soap to him. You guys have a little bit of an accent on it too, cilantro. Uh, cilantro. Cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, I see the I see the dono. I will play that right after this, Kairos. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick though, I want to play Death Perception, and then we got like one or two more for uh, Vicky and Rob, and then we'll let them go. We know they're busy. I would jam some more of your guys' music, but you only have two out, so that there's nothing else I could play at the moment. But um, yeah, I can't wait to the EP though. Thank you. You know, you're two days late, by the way. You could have dropped it on 420, I'm just saying. Just kidding. Is there is there a reason, by the way, you picked 422? Does it have any significance, or is that just mapped out as a good a good time to start the process for everything? I didn't even realize that until you mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it just mapped out for us. It was just like yeah. time-wise, timeline-wise, it worked out the best that date. Cool. Yeah. Fair enough. Your uh, Facebook is at 333DP, Death Perception. All right, your Harry Tritter, Harry Tritter, <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> trivia is what flavor of Birdie Bot's every flavor bean did Dumbledore end up with? This is specifically coming uh, from Harry earwax. Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. What'd you say? Yeah. Earwax. That is correct. Yeah, hell yeah. Well done. Way to save it. Way to save it. 
see what it lands on. Hell yeah. Matt, I did see the dodo. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Give me a second to queue up that song. Uh, where the hell did it go? Ah, oh, boo. That's a whack one. Hey, I'll spin it. I'll that. spin it again. I'll spin it again for you guys. But uh, in the meantime, we'll play. We'll play whatever this is. We did play that. So we're. Here's the Dona song from Kairos. Kairos approaching. All I have to do is shooey. All right, so really quick, let me tell you a story. But this is you're gonna think this is absolutely disgusting, and I apologize. But a long time ago, we had a, a band from Australia called Loggerstein. They're like a pirate-based band, and uh, they have a song called the Shoey Song, where it's literally what you think. You have to take. They make everybody in the audience take their shoe off and then pour their alcoholic beverage in the shoe and drink it. And it's uh... and we did we did like a whole bunch together on the show, and it's become like a thing that we every now and then do, and it doesn't land on it very often, but. I'm gonna have to do that right now. The wheels, whatever it is, so. Do you guys like drum and bass? Or do you like other other styles of EDM? I don't know if I would call Crystal Castles. They're kinda of like a, kinda of like a, I don't know. They're like indie electronic, maybe. But do you guys ever jam sounds like? like a, I didn't mean to cut like you. a Sonic the Hedgehog music. Yeah. I like it, I love it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, but do you ever jam like like house or trance, dubstep, anything like that? I I used to listen to um, Dead Mouse and uh, Swedish House Mafia, but uh, not so much anymore. Yeah, not not really. I think the last time I listened to music like that was when I was in my early twenties, and I would go out with friends to like bars or something, <laughs> and it played. Like I don't think I've ever you know, on my own, made the decision to listen to, like, house or dance music. For sure. I, for some reason, love dubstep and, and drum and bass, but uh, is there plans to do any more music videos for any songs from the EP? Yeah, yeah, we're working on a, a third one. Um, right now. <laughs> it's a secret which song it is, but it's going to be coming out very soon, very soon. How many tracks are, are on it? Mm, five tracks on uh, the EP, Kings, today. Cool. Coming out April 22nd. Guys, I, is there anything else that you'd like to plug or promote? Now's the time to do it. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day. And I greatly, greatly appreciate you spending some time with us and uh, just for making badass music in general. You guys rule. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks for having us, VG. Yeah, we'd just like to say uh, we have the pre-orders up for Kings Today EP. We got a new line of pre-order merch uh, available as well. So we're excited for it to come out. So stock up on... Yeah. <laughs> like, it, like if you see the music video for Kings Today and you really like that bear, we have him on our merch. Yeah, that so. merch is for you. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Vicky and Rob of Six Sense. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it so much. Enjoy the rest of your day.